Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to Excel tutorial by erpstuff.com. Uh, today we'll try to cover a few important functions of Excel, like VLOOKUP, SUMIF, COUNTIF, IF ERROR, and we'll try to remove duplicates as well. Uh, for the purpose of this uh, video, I have downloaded some data. Uh, like uh, capitals populations, countries population, uh, calling codes uh, from Wikipedia if you can see over here. So just for the demonstration purpose this Excel file uh, will be available for download which will the link will be provided below the video uh, while you can use your own data as well it's not important to have the same data this is just for demonstration purposes. Okay. Uh, the objective we'll try to achieve will be uh, this is our main sheet and if you see here we have some missing columns capital continent population of country capital of country and column code we'll try to bring from other sheets and then we will prepare this summary sheet if you can see here uh, to bring these values from other sheets so uh, let me remove it we'll try to prepare from scratch so for each continent, we'll try to bring population and number of countries from the other sheets. Let's begin. <coughs> countries. In this sheet, let's bring uh, capital information from other sheet. So we'll create, the, cl click this FX and select uh, most recent because I have the used VLOOKUP and in the lookup value, you have to select the very first cell which you want to search that is our country then table array where you want to search so it will be here and this country should be the first column in this table which I'm going to select okay this is a uh, requirement or prereq of uh, VLOOKUP if it is not the first column you you can't search and then to make the make this table constant just uh, press F4 so it will make it constant by putting dollars in front of column and rows. Now, next is which column you want to return as a value. So let's say for example, this is our country and then this is our second column. So we need capital name. So that is the second column in our table, selected table. So we'll put it two. Since our data is not sorted, so we'll put it zero or false and hit OK. It returned Beijing and now just double click this dot small square on the bottom and it will copy to the uh, rim, uh, down cells now same way we will bring continent from another sheet by clicking again same we look up and we'll select uh, country now this time we will click countries here and this will be our data for our continent same way we have to select by shift and f4 to make it constant then second column we need and zero that's it and double click okay later i will try to cover how to suppress this one uh, so it, it should not show let's first bring the values now we'll tr uh, try to bring the population of the capital by doing the same we look up uh, china it's not China it's actually our C4 cell value so it is starting from C4 uh, now we have the capital population okay now here you have to remember since we the first should be the country right and now one two three because our uh, population is in the third column just remember this so in this our selection array table we will give the reference of third column now because we need third column value and zero that's it okay double click now we'll try to bring country with the VLOOKUP again so we are preparing one sheet by taking values from the other sheets okay now countries and we'll click here again on the top first is the country again it is third column it can be any other column as well number but since we have the third column so we'll enter third f4 again to make constant this table three and zero 
by default it is zero false means it is not sorted and double click now we'll try to bring calling code again same way we look up um, select country c4 and then array calling codes see our data is data is not sorted out that's why we are seeing zero in the last parameter and f4 again this is us we have to return second so again second and zero now we'll double click this square and we can see the data now since uh, calling code is not available for all the countries so it is returning an error that is any what we'll do we'll try to suppress that if country is not available or calling code is not available just show it blank don't use uh, this na or show this na okay we'll go to the first uh, formula and before this v lookup we'll add if error that if it return error what to do so at the end we we'll put comma and we'll just put double quotes that means return blank right so here it is right same way we can add it over here in all the sheets uh, sorry all the columns if error and at the end or we can even enter some text here like not found or country missing or whatever you want it up it is up to you right see it is showing now blank same way we will do it here if error comma this double quotes and and again we have to double click so it should copy down the whole formula again Asia now here we will uh, try to show something not found or just found in an example so if error if there is error then show not found right or not entered or whatever so now this formula we have to copy down double click if you see here now it is not found same way we'll do it here if error and comma and that's it okay double click that's it now our data is ready in this sheet and you can save it okay now uh, let's prepare our summary sheet on summary here we will try to use some if and some uh, some uh, count if uh, this is based uh, some based on some condition so it's a conditional sum it's not just uh, like some so I will click again function key and sum if you can see the parameters over here it, it, it will show here right click ok now first is our range right what you want what is your range to search it is this one then criteria what is your criteria S sorry 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 our range is uh, oh, we'll put it here so first we have to start from the, our continent and then capital country right so it is second down search side okay now criteria what is the criteria this criteria is such continent right and here we have to make it constant by putting f4 and then sum range what you want to sum so our sum is in the countries our country's population that is something here just search this okay again f4 and hit okay 
So it summed up based on criteria this Asia. Now if once we will copy down this formula, it will take this continent as a parameter. Just see. So it summed up based on this criteria. If you press F2 here, see it selected uh, this continent as a parameter B5, right? Now we'll try to uh, count if how many countries are there in each continent which is uh, available in our data. So again, I will hit this one because it gives you uh, count if uh, screen to make range. So first we'll make a range. So range is in our uh, countries. I will come it here, come here, and we have to search which we have the criteria. So this is our data from where we picked and we'll go down and up to this, right? And F4 will make it constant and criteria I will select again the continent and hit OK. Here it is, right? So it is giving us all. Now as for the reconciliation purpose you can hit here to sum uh, alt equal it will select the range to sum it's a shortcut key and again alt equal to sum the number of countries since in our data and uh, few places we don't have uh, uh, continent if you can see here see here so that's why this count is not giving you uh, uh, exact total for this equal to this one because this data is uh, not exactly matching so in the summary column you can identify how much is for these continents so in Asia there are 47 countries as per our data I'm not talking about as a whole and same for others right <clears throat> now going back to uh, our data let's say for example how to prepare this sheet okay now for example if this we have to prepare the summary sheet now we have these continents how we took these continents how we know how many continents are there what i will do uh, let me go to uh, countries population where we have this data i will just i will select this one the whole data uh, i'm just giving you how to remove duplicates and then prepare data Control C. Let me bring it to the summary sheet. Uh, I, I will copy it here, and then I will go to data and remove duplicates. Uh, <coughs> same column, right? And click OK. If you see, it removed the duplicates and brought only the unique values, and then you can type it over here, whatever you want, right? Uh, hope it uh, will help you to understand excel advanced functions sort of and these are very important for erp consultants that's why i put it there uh, erp consultants of course uh, others can also get benefits out of it uh, so waiting for your feedback and uh, because it will allow us to improve further thank you very much